Harry and Meghan Markle's presence at a royal Christmas bash could be back on the cards according to a mortifying U-turn claim. Insiders believe the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are keen to return to Sandringham Estate to celebrate with members of the royal family after departing active duties in 2020. Despite the fallout and lack of public affection between Prince William and younger brother Prince Harry, it seems the Sussex duo are hopeful of an invitation to the Christmas do. Hosted by King Charles III, Daniela Elsa claimed, those with abnormally long memories may be troubled by the appearance of the duo at the Christmas celebration, though a sudden interest in a return for the Sussex duo comes as they try and make their way back into the family. Expert Elsa alleged, just imagine the scene. A cavernous drawing room, the sofas, aristocratically tatty, the turners, multitudinous. The atmosphere so tense it would make the Treaty of Versailles seem like a dawdle. Drink would be flowing freely. The dogs would be on edge and Queen Camilla would be wondering if it was too late to fake an allergic reaction to a scotch egg. And into this scene, the Sussexes would walk in, beaming positive light and forgiveness to a bunch of people with abnormally long memories, and who still have the keys to the tower. Whether the duo are invited to the event is yet to be seen, but insiders are not hopeful of a place at the table for the pair, a friend of the duo claimed. I can't imagine the Sussexes would decline an invitation to spend time with His Majesty, as of yet, there have not been any invitations for the holidays. Harry and Meghan are allegedly wanting back into the royal family, at least briefly according to a report made in the Telegraph, but it seems the prospect of Christmas attendance lays in the hands of those the prince is yet to reconcile with. Elsa added, it was only in January this year that a thundercloud desk Harry sat down with a parade of TV journalists to eagerly sell his memoir spare and to paint the house of Windsor as a biased, uncaring lot, united in their hunger for good press, no matter the personal cost to their loved ones. If we take all the charges that the Sussexes have leveled at Crown Inc. at face value, why in God's name would they even deign to cross the road to see this titled lot, let alone fly ten hours? at no small expenses, and with two small children.